Hey, what is going on guys? So I have three selfie sticks here that I think are probably the best for 2019. Now each of these are different depending on what your actual preference is and what you actually need it for. Now all of these you can hook up to um, a phone, a camera, DSLR, action cam, or GoPro. And these all have Bluetooth remotes as well. Now all of these are different sizes, okay? We got one here by Malno and this one's kind of like an everyday use. And I mean, it's small enough to go into a pocket like these here this is the smallest it goes okay these are more professional sticks but this one here is more of an everyday thing i mean this one here fits into your pocket no problem you can go ahead and flip it into the uh back pocket as well you have a tripod on this one as you can see here now the max length on this one is 26.77 inches so almost 27 inches on this one you have 49 inches on this one and this one actually has a uh tripod as well as you can see right here and you can use this one as a stick as well and i'll go ahead and extend this one out like i said these two last ones here is more of a professional stick but like i said this one here actually goes out 49 inches and you can see how long that is and i mean you can make it obviously you can make it any size you want just go ahead and clamp this in place just like that and go ahead and open the tripod if you wish and then you can go ahead and tighten that up and there you go this one here has a remote that's right down here as well. The Bluetooth remote is the same on both of these here. Both of these brands here is a well-known brand, it's Fugatech. So we have about 27 inches max length, 49 inches, and this one actually goes out to 51 inches. And let me show you how long this one looks like. Take a look at this bad boy right here. All right, look at that right there. And this one here doesn't have like a tripod, it's just a handle, but the grip here is definitely better than the grip here because, you know, on this one here, you're kind of holding the tripod together. So you would be doing something like this. You go ahead and close that up. So it's basically this, which I don't mind, or versus like a nice grip like this one here, as you can see here. Let me go ahead and extend all these out to the max really fast. Okay, so all these are extended to the max, okay? You got this one here, you got this one here, and we got this bad boy right here as well, okay? Now the thing is, this one doesn't have a tripod, but of course this one does have a one fourth inch screw. So if you do have like another tripod, you can always just connect it. I mean, I can go ahead and screw this on here, on here. I can put this one on this one here, on this one there. Here's an actual standard tripod here. I can even go ahead and go ahead and hook this one onto here so it can actually be even longer as well. And I'll show you the grip between these two here. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, close this one down. So all of these are in a position at the smallest length, okay? As you can see here, this one here actually you can go ahead and bend this part down like that. Okay, and I'll show you the grip. You can see the grip on these two here. I mean, you basically have to hold the tripod one like this. So you kind of have to have a little bit bigger hands. And of course you have the grip on this little tiny one here as well. This is like more of a standard everyday selfie stick here. At the end of the video, we'll go ahead and go over the uh, Bluetooth remote. I'll hook them up to like an Android phone and an iPhone to show you what it can do. Cause this one here is a little bit more advanced than this Bluetooth remote here. Okay, so moving on with this one here first, okay? So, I mean, obviously, I mean, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and pop a phone in here. You know, you can go ahead and do your thing just like this. You also have the uh, little tripod stand here and the max height is right here. And of course, I mean, I mean, we can put it like all the way down if you basically want to shoot something like, you know, I do some videos like basically on my desk and I do it just like this, but the phone would be turned around the other way. And of course you can always turn it in uh, portrait mode as well, just like that. Now the thing with this one, if you wanted to put like a uh, action cam or a regular camera or even like a DSLR, it comes with another attachment here. So what you have to do is, let's go ahead and hook some of these other gadgets up here. So you have to go ahead and unscrew this part right here. Let me just take that out. So you have that like the screw and this right here. And then I go ahead and attach. Oh, uh, you know what? This connector is not the one for this one, but it actually comes with another one that's similar to this. You just slide it in there and you go ahead and screw it in. And then you can go ahead and put your camera on there or a GoPro. It'll have like a three, three fourth inch screw on there. So you can just like put, pop that in there, tighten it up with the screw. And then you can go ahead and screw in your uh, camera or GoPro or whatever. The only thing is I wouldn't recommend using a DSLR 
because the tripod legs really isn't like that strong. If you were going to like keep it like low, then sure, maybe you can go ahead and use an actual DSLR that's actually, you know, it's typically heavier. But personally, I still wouldn't trust this stick on a DSLR, even though I have used this, but it was like in a controlled environment. I had like padding and stuff like that on here. And they all come with the foam mounts too. So you have the foam mount here and you have a foam mount on this one as well. Let me just tighten this one up here and I'll go ahead and attach my phone on this one. This one here doesn't have a spring. You kind of have to like loosen it up like this and then you can go ahead and slip your phone in just like this and go ahead and tighten it up. And this one here, you can loosen this part up and you can kind of like tilt it like down or all the way this way as well. Pretty much the same thing as that one if you wanted to actually do something that's directly below you. Let me go ahead and raise this to the uh, max height. You're not gonna be able to see it in here. Let me just keep going up all the way anyway. So let me just put this on the floor and you can see the max height right there, okay? So I can go ahead and close this up, lock it in place, and I can still use this as, as a selfie stick as well, just like that. And of course, I can also put this in the portrait mode or vertical position as well. I would just have to put it down like this and I can loosen this up right here. And then I can turn this any way I want and I just go ahead and tighten it just like this. And now you have it in the uh, vertical position. And moving on to this one here, it's pretty much the same thing with this one here. I mean, you have this phone clamp that you can go ahead and open up and you can slip your phone right into and then go ahead and clamp it down. And this one, you have the same vertical and horizontal position on here as well. Let me go ahead and take the uh, this foam mount off this one here. So here's the foam mount here, and you have that standard 1 4 inch screw, so you can go ahead and, and screw in, I mean, a regular camera here. You can just pop on there, or a GoPro action cam. Here's a DSLR. Let's go ahead and put this one on here. So here's a DSLR on here, and let me go ahead and widen up the uh, tripod legs here. And this one's obviously much more sturdier than uh, this one here. And I'll go ahead and raise this one all the way up as well. Okay, that's almost like at the ceiling, like one foot below the ceiling. And I'll put it on the floor. Oops. Got to go ahead and tighten this up too. Just like that. So that's the highest from the floor. Right there. And of course, you can go ahead and loosen this up as well. And you can turn it in a vertical position just like this and you can see how that stands right there you go ahead and put it up like this and there you go and then uh and then i guess if you want to vlog with this as well you gotta hold it out just like this it's a little bit heavy though i mean hold it out like this far and i'll put the dslr on uh, this selfie stick here the one that actually has like the grip here and i'll give you a selfie mode on this one too i'll go ahead and extend this out all the way Close that up and you can see, I mean, if you're going to extend it all the way out like this, I mean, the grip on this one's definitely much more sturdier than uh, this one here. I'm not sure if you can even like see that, but that's pretty uh, far, <laughs> that's pretty far out. And like I said, this one here has a uh, one fourth inch screw on here. So if you wanted to go higher, if you have another like a tripod laying around, let me go ahead and hook it up on to this one here. This tripod right here is kind of like a cheap aluminum flimsy one here. If you actually want to use this, you probably want to use more of a uh, professional tripod. And I mean, you can go, we can go ahead and move that up and actually we can go up. Okay, that right there is touching the ceiling, but like I said, I mean, this is a cheap tripod. I wouldn't recommend using a cheap tripod if you want to extend it all the way out on the tripod as well as actual the selfie stick, but you would be like super high in the air. Uh, there's one thing I forgot to mention where there's probably gonna be a lot of questions, but how about like a big phone? How about like an iPhone XS Max I mean, you can see obviously it fits into here, no problem. And we still have like a lot of room. I mean, look at that. And the same thing with this one here. I mean, there's plenty of room in this one. Let me go ahead and raise this one up here. And you can see I can go ahead and attach a uh, iPhone XS Max, no problem. And this one here is kind of a snug fit, but it still fits in here, no problem. Just slide it in there and you know, you're ready to rock and roll. Why don't we go ahead and see what the uh, Bluetooth remote can do on each of these. I'll put it on an iPhone and an Android phone. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the iPhone on the uh, Fugatec selfie stick. And you can see the uh, remote right here. The remote is detachable on all, all these selfie sticks as well. You can go ahead and take it out and use it or you can just go ahead and leave it in just like this. Let me go ahead and connect this to my iPhone first. Okay, so I currently have it connected and this uh, selfie stick by Fugatec and this one, I mean, they both have the same exact remote, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and use this one here. Now on the remote here, you have a minus sign, a plus sign, and the uh, camera button here. Now, without even having the camera open, if I press the volume up and down, 
I mean, it raises the volume up and down. Let me go ahead and open up the camera here. And if I press the camera button here, it takes a photo. If I press the volume up or down, it does the same thing with the photo. It just like takes a photo. Now, if I put it in video mode, okay, so if I put it in video mode, it's the same thing. If I press the uh, camera button, it's gonna start recording. If I press it again, it's gonna stop it. Same thing if I press the uh, plus sign or minus sign, it basically starts it and stop it. I don't think that there's a setting that you can change where you can zoom in and out on the iPhone. However, with the Android phones, you should be able to, okay? Let's go ahead and try an Android phone here. I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 here. All right, let me go ahead and pair it to my Android phone on here, the Fugatech here. Let me grab the remote. Here's a on-off switch too. Let me go ahead and pop this back on. And really fast again, you know, I can go ahead and place the attachment on here. And it's a perfect area for my thumb to hit the buttons here, okay? So on camera mode here, I mean, by default, if I click the uh, camera button here, it takes a picture. If I press the plus sign, it takes a picture. If I press the minus sign, it takes a picture. Let me see if I can configure this to zoom in and out. Let me go into the settings of this Android phone here. And then we're gonna go ahead and look for volume key function. Currently it's on take pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on that and we're gonna go ahead and click on zoom here. Now I'm gonna go back and let's see if that plus sign, minus sign does anything now. Okay, cool, there we go. It actually zooms in and out and then I can go ahead and take a picture right there. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, for this uh, small selfie stick here, I mean, of course you can take the Bluetooth remote off of you. You can leave it in your hand just like this and snap it like that, or you can just go ahead and pop it out and you can use it like this as well. And this top part here actually rotates as well. As you can see, you can keep rotating this. Let me go ahead and put a, uh, let me put the iPhone XS Max on here first. We'll start off with the uh, iPhone here. Now the remote on this one, I mean, it's just one button. It's just a shutter button. So let's see what the iPhone can do. Let me go ahead and bring up a camera here. So it's on photo right now. I'll go ahead and tap it. Okay, it takes a photo, that's pretty much it. Even if I go into the selfie mode, we're going to take a snapshot, there you go. What happens if we put it in video mode? Let's go to video here. And let's try a video here on selfie mode. Yep, you can start it and you can stop it. Let's go to the uh, back facing camera now. Flip that over and ready, go. Okay, yeah, nice, it's recording. And then stop, so that's pretty much it. Let me put my Samsung Galaxy S8 right on the here. Let's go ahead and pair it. And now if I just go ahead and press the shutter button or the camera button here, it's just gonna take a picture, all right? Same thing if I go into the selfie mode here, I go ahead and snap it, it's gonna take a photo here, okay? If I wanted to start and stop the uh, video, I would have to go back into that setting. So if I go back into the settings here, let me go back into the settings and we're gonna go back down to volume key function let me tap on that and this time let's go ahead and click on record a video so i'll tap on record a video i'll go back into the camera here and now if i go ahead and tap it right here we're going to be recording a video if i want to stop it i press that camera button again okay and the same thing if we use the uh, back facing camera let me go ahead and switch it over okay ready go testing one two three testing one two three and then we want to stop it we just press it well, there you guys go. Let me just go ahead and extend these out as far as they go on all of these one more time. Okay, so we got the little, like almost 27 inches here, as you can see there. Then we got this one here. Doesn't have tripod legs, but again, remember, it does have the uh, one fourth inch screw where you can attach it onto like another tripod or whatnot. I'll extend this one all the way out, just like that. Don't forget this one here actually has the tripod legs right here. There you go, just like that. You're ready to rock and roll. So we got these right here. We got these right here. And we got this little bad boy right here. Well, there you guys go. I hope you guys found that informative or somewhat informative. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.